did you know above us we've got 12 kilometers of atmosphere and below us it's 6,300 kilometers to the center of the earth yet all life on land and air is supported by 15 to 25 centimeters of topsoil 24 billion tons of topsoil is lost every year through erosion that is three tons of, of topsoil for every living person on earth and it takes 500 years to make a layer of two and a half centimeters of topsoil how can we look after and improve our topsoil well let's first go and have a look at soil soil was formed over thousands and thousands of years the parent rock decomposes breaks it into small pieces mixes with, with organic material and that forms uh, uh, soil so if we had to dig down deeper and deeper we will eventually get to the parent rock just look at this look at the color difference there this one comes from the top much darker and this one is much redder much closer to the color of the parent rock it's darker because it's got much more organic matter in it roots and pieces of bark and, 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 and uh, all kinds of, of organic matter in, and that's what makes it much much darker and that is what we call topsoil you can see there is a layer there this side is much darker to the bottom and that is where what we call topsoil that is where all our feeder roots of the plants sit and all our nutri nutrition sits in that area and that is our very important part of of the soil what soil do you think is more fertile a heavy clay soil or a sandy soil you're right the clay is much more fertile why well clay has got many many more colloids than sandy soil what is colloids I'm sure you've all played with magnets before and you've seen a positive and a negative at attract each other and two negatives or two uh, uh, positives will repel each other and that is exactly the same with colloids colloids has got a negative uh, charge and any positive nutrient and uh, positive charged nutrient that floats past would actually get attracted to it and it will attach itself to the to the to the colloid a positive charged nutrient is called a cation we've got like calcium magnesium zinc sodium potassium hydrogen and ammonium ammonium is nitrogen so all those nutrients in sand would probably just leach away and be lost but in heavy soil it will be attached to that colloid and will await the uh, roots to extract it so how can we improve our sandy soil by adding compost a kg of compost or humus has got many 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 more colloids than a kg of heavy soil so by putting in compost or not burning will improve your sandy soils do not burn okay now for the experiment so what we have here is two identical containers with holes that are drilled in the bottom these are lined up with two glasses and at the bottom we are putting in some stone
Right, I think that is even. Now on top of the bigger stone we are putting our smaller stone. That looks even. Right, now we put the soil. Right, I think that looks even. Let me put the mulch. Okay, let us make some rain. I think that's enough rain. Right, let us compare the runoff. The one with mulch, hardly anything. The one with no mulch, quite a bit. No mulch, let's look at that. Also look at, it's very clean inside. Hardly nothing. The other side that was just bare ground, look at that. Look at the color of the water too, how dirty it is. And then, all that erosion. Just look at that. All that has now gone to the sea. The water that penetrated is similar, but look how dirty the one is with it's got no mulch compared to the one that had had the grass. That is because of the, the rain pounding the bare soil and, and churn it up where you've got this cover that protects the soil from not being pounded by the rain. I hope that illustrates how important it is to keep your mulch on your fields. Thank you.